the Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 84. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of outstanding women finding their inner journey to self-confidence five days a week. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out amazing blog articles and our killer resources. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a special lady that's all the way from Honolulu, Hawaii. She is a emotional breakthrough specialist and a business coach helping women out there, you know, be able to break through anything that's blocking them to live the life that they want, which I love, right? Because I'm all, all about helping women out there just be able to live a better life and you know, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Hang. Hang, how are you today? Maybe you can share a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Good morning, Sheena, and good morning, everybody who's listening to this. Uh, thank you so much for having me on this podcast. It's an honor to be here. I'm really excited. <laughs> Just your energy, Sheena. Well, uh, I'm Hang Bo, and I was born in Vietnam, so I'm Vietnamese. Uh, I came here in 1993. I went to college and high school here. I lived in the mainland for about seven years. We call the mainland. And then I came back here for about six years. So my background was the, I used to be a pro athlete. I was a competitive coach for many years and encountered a lot of my own physical and emotional challenge that I have to figure out answer for myself. And in the process of helping myself, I starting to naturally helping other around me and realized that I, you know, I wasn't alone in that process. And, um, you know, over the years, I was fortunate to have successfully worked with many clients from different walk of life and different age, from a gymnast to high performing athlete, professional women, entrepreneur, actor, actresses, the cast and director, to award winning magicians to help them to break through that block that they may not be aware of. And that's, uh, that's lead me to the passion of where I'm at now, is uh, now I'm in the place where I can help other women to, uh, who perhaps the same challenge that I used to have and to break through what they need to break through so they can really own it and create a life that they really want, like you said. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Hang, what would be your um, favorite self-confidence quote? You know, I don't have one in particular when you ask me these questions. However, one of the things that I usually said to myself and my client when it's come to confidence is, is that once you accept yourself, it doesn't matter if people accept you. I love that. And, you know, it's, it's amazing that, you know, we're always so concerned of what other people think that we have to realize that we have to love and accept ourselves for who we are before even other people can love us for who we are. I mean, everything has to start with us, right? Start with mm-hmm. ourselves and just, you know, learn to just love ourselves so that we can start giving back to the world and be able to be the person that we can be. So love that quote. And, you know, in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? Well, to me, self-confidence is your ability to do what you want and be who you want to be. And to do it in a way that you don't have any resistance inside and do it in alignment and gracefully. That's my definition of self-confidence. I like that, you know, because there's there's still a lot of people out there who aren't doing the things that they want to do because of fear, because they're afraid of what other people might think of them. And I mean, I mean, I've gone through this as well, right? I mean, you just get so scared of what other people would think that you don't end up doing anything. And, you know, just having the ability to do what you want is, you know, such a great gift that people take for granted. So, you know, I really love that um, definition that you shared. And You know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Oh, man, I can go all day on this one. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, uh, there's some pivotal moment in my life is before I discovered self-confidence, true self-confidence, I had self-confidence, but on the surface of what the society defined, I was, I had a lot of uh, physical challenge and I had a lot of emotional challenge, such as depression, stress, like on the surface, I, I look normal, you know, I look fine, I look like I'm happy. I have all those, the thing that the society would define like, oh yeah, she's, she's fine. But inside I was dying because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Because, because of that, I, there's so many internal conflict and I'm, I'm not sure, you know, maybe you can relate to it and audience can relate to it, that you in the place where you, when you self-help book, 
and you know what you need to do, what you want to do, and it sounds very easy that, yeah, I can be confident, I can do what I want to do, but at the same time, you have so many resistance inside you, and resistance inside you create so much internal conflict, and those internal conflict is really, really hurt you know, you in the big way, and for me, it hurt my self-confidence in a big way inside, and I literally was dying inside. I'm like, you know, something got to change. And one of the big uh, aha moments for me in the process of self-discovery is that a lot of the challenge that I had and a lot of resistance that I had inside stem from unresolved emotions, suppressed emotions from way, way back that I wasn't even aware. And I'm like, ah, so that was that. And then when I found out what I was and be able to heal myself from that part, then the current challenge dissipate, the resistance gone. And I'm like, ah, oh, so, so that's the same thing. And then I start seeing that in my clients, you know, from having fear, having guilt, having shame, having migraine, because emotions show up in a different way. And when you can find out the root cause, the stem, and break the root cause, the current challenge gone. And it really gives you that sense of peace. So... To simply answer your question, before really having true self-confidence, I had a lot of pain, <laughs> a lot of emotional pain and a lot of physical pain. And it's a blessing now looking at it because it was my journey of discovering what it was that I need to know to help myself and to help others and to fulfill my purpose why I'm here on this planet. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it's so true. We see so many people out there who, who like to le- like us to believe that they're leading that perfect life. You know, everything looks mm-hmm. so perfect on the outside. But a lot of women are dying on the inside because they're dying to do something that they want. Maybe they feel trapped because they, that's the only solution they have to the life that they're living, even though there's always, you know, options out there for everybody. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad you shared this saying, you know, it may look so perfect or, you know, confident on the outside, but inside it's like they're just dying to come out. They're just dying to do something that they truly want to do. And, you know, I like when you mentioned your aha moment was just you found out the root problem and not a lot of people realize that, you know, it comes from something maybe way, way back, maybe past, you know, in their childhood or something, you know, in their teenage years. And they just don't realize like that's what's blocking them or stopping them from stepping into their greatness and stretching their potential. Right. Definitely. So, so thanks for sharing that. And, you know, when you realize what your root problems were and, and found out what they were and was able to start doing the things that you want be more really like truly found self-confidence within yourself. I mean, what's your life like now? Well, I, I would say that I am very blessed that I feel you know, for the most part, I'm in alignment with who I am. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm able to think the thing, do the, do the thing that I think about and be able to be who I am in alignment. So I say, I think, I say, and I do in alignments. And uh, and when you do that, you, I'm in a place of peace. And I, I get to live to be who I am and also to help inspire others to be who they are. Because ultimately, you know, ultimately, yes, I help my client, you know, whether you, they're a celebrity, whether they're a woman entrepreneur, a man, a man, a woman, a, a baby, doesn't really matter. The root always come back to be able to clear all the unresolved things, all the additional things that um, take you away from who you are. And it, it's all come down to self-acceptance and self-love ultimately. It's all come down to that. Whether you want to perform better, whether you want, whether you want to make more money, it's all come down to that. And it's easy said than done. And however, you know, the, the, the key is to be able to intellectually think that you want to do certain thing and have your feelings support that. That's the key. And when you have your feeling and your thinking in alignment, and when you're in true congruency, then you can be, true who, be truly who you are. I love that. And it's so true, right? When you want to do something and actually take the action within your alignment, like, I just feel like magic happens. And, you know, you can become your your true authentic self. And, you know, that's a freedom that most people don't have Just mm-hmm. being their authentic self, right? Because, yeah. you know, maybe they're afraid of, you know, maybe shaming their families or, or they're afraid that, you know, their friends might laugh at them or their coworkers might think they're crazy. And, Nobody realize how, how, you know, how freeing that is when you can just be yourself and not give a damn what everyone thinks about you. So, you know, thanks for sharing that. I'm really glad that, you're, you know, you get to live the life that you truly want. And, you know, for the woman who's listening to your episode, 
you know, she's on her own journey to self-confidence as well. What would be that one tip you would give to her? Well, one tip I would give to her, if you are, you know, I'm talking to women, if, if, if you are in a place where you're in that place that you know that you need change in your life, like you do something, but there's fear resistant inside, the first thing is please stop judging yourself. Because overachieving women, and I work with a lot of them, the first thing when you beat the heck out of yourself, and it just only get worse. First, stop judging yourself. And second, understand that your challenge may be come from a place where you may not be aware of. So there's nothing wrong with you. So if you think something wrong with you, you got to stop that. And look further. And third, have some, some, somebody help you look into, okay, what's really causing it? So you can take the first step to move forward gracefully. That will be my advice for them. I love that. And I mean, I used to be like the number one person who would beat myself to death, you know, like tell myself what's wrong with me. Why am I, you know, why am I not getting the results that I want? And really it doesn't, it doesn't help us at all. If anything, it just attracts the wrong things into our lives. So I'm really glad you mentioned that because I think as women too, we're always so hard on ourselves because I think society sets this pedestal for us, right? Which is wrong because it's like, You know, what gives society a right to tell us how women must act, right? How to cross their legs, how to talk, how to, you know, wear a t-shirt or, you know, stupid little things like that. So, you know, I'm really glad that you mentioned that because, you know, just judging yourself can really, really just limit you to all the potential that you have that's inside of you. So, Hang, if if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do and your services, is there any websites or social media profile links that we could um, connect with? Oh, yes, certainly. They can go on my website. I have two. One uh, for women entrepreneur at uh, www.stretch, like stretching, yourpotential.com. And second is, a, I have one website for celebrity is hang, hang, H-A-N-G-B-O-G-E.com. And actually, uh, I talk about one simple key, how you can have a balanced life. And that's a, I, I think that'd be a, a really nice video to introduce the, a person to learn how emotion can cause a lot of the challenge so they can stop beating themselves up. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you would like to check out Hang's links, just head on over to the tab selfconfidence.com and search for Hang's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just really want to thank Hang for, you know, taking the time to share her story and share her journey with us. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me here, Sheena, and this opportunity to share with other women. How about kick ass day, everybody? <laughs> Thank you. No problem. We, lo- you know, I, I loved having you here. And for our listeners, just be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self confidence. And we'll catch you later. Bye for now. Aloha. Thank you for connecting with us on the Tao of Self Confidence. Visit the Tao of Self Confidence dot com for links to everything we chatted about, as well as killer resources, gifts, and so much more. 